My short term memory is short. Plan B. We're always on plan B or C or D. Anything but plan A usually. Y'all wanna see something really weird? Morning, Bonnie. Did you miss me at all? <laughs> Back to the grind. Back at it, aren't we, babe? Whew. It's a little chilly. It's a little chilly on the hill this morning. Those um, buckets felt heavier. Take a few days off and they feel heavier. Huh? I know, I've been goofing off. You know what? It actually feels like harder work standing and walking and talking for three days on concrete than doing this. Do you believe me? Yeah, I believe I wouldn't want to do it. You wouldn't want to do it, no. Your, your legs and your, I mean, your back wouldn't take it. Everything go okay while I was gone? Yeah. My stand-in did good? said she hopes the calves don't come in because she wants to work. Right, girl? <laughs> yes. Let me add them. One or two arms. Yeah. Going for a Sunday stroll on the back of So we're doing something. I honestly, I honestly can't remember what he said that we were doing exactly. I'm getting gates, that's what I'm doing. And then I'll tell you what else we're doing or I'll show you when I find out. My short term memory is short. Okay, so moving. Moving some hay. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's gonna pick that hay up and he's gonna put it across the fence for the calves that are in the lot now, I think, to be determined. So we just moved the calves out of this lot, y'all. They um, they got their last breakfast this morning and that that is what happens on a farm and a ranch. The animals don't get to stay around forever. So, this group will be going to packing plant and they will be what we sell for freezer beef. Once a year, coming up in three weeks. They'll get delivered first thing tomorrow morning really early. And then we'll go back and, and pick up the packaged meat and sell to our customers. And I know it's kind of hard for some some people to kind of understand how we do this, but this is what we do for a living. And there's just a, a point where you have to separate things. And we take care of the animals in our care to the best of our abilities while we have them. And then they are taken to a place where they are humanely slaughtered and made in, into to be for human consumption. That's what we do. 
Okay, he's coming out with that hay. He's gonna take it somewhere else. We'll find out when we get there, because I'm still slightly confused for normal. The goal was to get it all in the manger, but obviously that didn't work. So we're going to see what we can do to do that. Like Lawrence just said, we have an amazing, amazing stand of weed. Henbit. Henbit chickweed. Curly Doc. What's Curly Doc? The purple? Yeah. <laughs> we can win a contest. <laughs> I'm just going to lay here. I'm just going to lay here. And maybe, maybe I'll be able to do something. Bah. No, no, no. Clara. No. <laughs> No. Lie down. That'll do here. That'll do here. Lie down. Good girl. I told you to come by. You run in there like you're going to run him away from me. What's the matter with you? Tight quarter. You going to make sure you have plenty of room? I don't think he's bad. You show him what bad he is, 35 pound dog. Huh? <laughs> Tyra, that'll do. That'll do him. That'll do him. liquid nitrogen that he's got to put out but it was too windy yesterday now we need to undo it so we can hook up the cattle trailer trailer updating look what we have here thanks to Brian and Danielle Hurd our viewers who sent us this awesome little gadget here it's called the easy crank it's gonna make it easier to crank <laughs> alrighty 
I just looked at the website so I could try to explain what was special about it, but it was too many words and I don't remember them all. It has to do with a special bearing. Good bearings in the handle with the pins, but these, they spun when they was brand new, but they were just a piece of metal up on top of the handle. And soon rust and then it's spinning in your hand. All right, so Lawrence knows it's got a special bearings in the handle. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. I think the handles come in different colors too. I could be wrong. Don't hold me to it. Anyway, I'll make sure I put the link to their website in the description. Check it out. New handle, old bolt. But that old crawl oil does the job, I guess. Do you need a hand? <laughs> I can put the phone away. The kids are enjoying the sunshine, losing their minds. I don't care as long as they're outside playing. Nobody breaks any bones. It's all good. Which is up for grabs. Literally. All right. Easy greasy. I'm letting it down. I gotta let it back up. But anyway, works good. Thank y'all. Sweet. I didn't realize that he had pulled the bolt out until I pulled this off. It's too early, y'all. It's too early. Lawrence's favorite breakfast. It's going healthy. It's a, um, what is it? It's a wrap. It's too early is what it is. Anyway. Loaded. There they go. Back to the house. Got babies to take to school in a little while. Daddy's gonna have to take them by himself. Daddy gets washing duty since Wesley has to go to school. Made it back. Hey, girl. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. What do you say, boo? I know you're a bull. I know you are. Happy for you. Woo, it's windy today. That is gonna make spraying nitrogen difficult yet again. Doing calculations. Is it so
of the nozzles are, some of them aren't spraying hard enough and some are spraying too hard. And he said he's never used these nozzles before. They're nitrogen nozzles. He's used drip nozzles in the past. So we're gonna take them all back off and replace them with the other one. Even though he's just spent over an hour or two putting these on. Not really a happy farmer right now. He needs to get it sprayed. It's windy, it's still kind of windy, so I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So he just said by using the other nozzles, it'll actually do better with the wind. He said he just screwed up. He had these nozzles because they came with a sprayer. He never used them. They are supposed to be for nitrogen, but it's not gonna work. So, <laughs> plan B. We're always on plan B or C or D. Anything but plan A usually. He said he wasn't using his bleepity bleep head. And I said that happens to the best of us. do the trick really fast. All right, that first first load is in the bin or tank in the tank. And he's off. So he's putting this nitrogen on one of our barley fields that was on the high ground. And now I'm going to check the kids and we will check on him later. Gosh, look at them there, clouds. They sure do look like rain, don't they? <laughs> they sure do. Okay, he's already done a couple loads. Um, I just got back and helped him fill up another one. We need to go to another farm. He is getting it strapped in there and on there. And I have it attached to my truck here we go. Sun, it looks like the sun's getting low, but it's only 4.30. <laughs> All right, so far so good. 
Y'all wanna see something really weird? There's a mockingbird up here that something buried. It buried it, it's right there. It's like buried in the ground. Isn't that weird? It's very weird, we're gonna wait on this person to come before we pull out there with this rig. But yeah, so strange. We're here. with all the mud holes. It's actually not mud right now, but no worries, that's gonna change. It's gonna rain tomorrow. The mud was starting to get dehydrated again and we cannot have that now, can we? No, uh-uh. The wind is ridiculous. sun is back out so that's nice but the wind is definitely still out too um i know if i tried to talk out there you wouldn't be able to hear me so anyway there's pros and cons with these what do you call them drip hoses spray hoses whatever they are the nozzle that he had on there the nozzles would have been better because it would have been more of a mist but with the wind, this is better because it's getting it closer to the ground and he's just hoping it'll seep. It'll spread. Spread, seep, either word. I think either word works in this situation, but anywho. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait with my tank until he runs out and then we'll fill it up again. Hopefully it won't take but a couple times. I don't know, it's a pretty big field. We'll see. Actually, I might be here a while now that I'm thinking about it. But y'all, I almost forgot I had my dog with me. And she might be, she might be. Wait, can I do this? Sleeping like a baby in the seat in the back. Is that so comfy, monkey doodle? Is that so comfy, Bonnie? Yes, yes it is, Mom. <laughs> Coming in for a fill. There's a ditch there. doesn't do what he was told it was going to do when he bought it. He's really still slightly bitter about that. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. <laughs> and I was going to go home and cook supper, but I hadn't taken the meat out yet. He gave me money to go get a pizza. Said we could just do something easy tonight. And I am all for that tonight because it's been a long day. So that's what we're going to do. We'll cook again another time. Let's go home. You want to go home, Bonnie? Yeah, she's pretty happy. <laughs> can I back this trailer up? Of course I can. All day long. 
all day long. All right, little buddy, let's go home. And get unhitched. <laughs> I just told him, he said, let's get pizza. I said, okay, I'll go in and get that. He said, well, you got something behind you. <laughs> so I think first I'm gonna go unhitch this thing and then go get pizza. And I'm probably gonna scare the pizza people. I might have a little bit of nitrogen on my clothes. Maybe a little. Found a little girl and a little dog up here is what I found. At supper. Does everyone agree that the hardest thing to ride home with is a is, dog? Is a dog? <laughs> we got two dogs. We picked up another one. Hey, Clara. Hey, Bonnie. What are you doing? That's not fair. I can't eat. I'm driving. <laughs> anyway, no. the hardest thing to ride home with is a pizza without eating it. Okay, he already ate it. <laughs> Obviously, too hard for some 11 year olds. <laughs> Oh boy.